Dolu, it was a career day for you in just about every sense. Points, rebounds, tied a career high, block shots today. What allowed you to be so effective in so many different ways in this game? Um, just just playing with confidence and playing um, as hard as I can. Coach emphasized playing as hard as we can to get this win. This win was a must win. And, uh, I just want to thank my, my coaches and my players for, um, my teammates actually, for just giving me the ball and I appreciate them. How much of the game plan was to attack the paint today? You you got a lot of touches early. There were a lot of guys in the backcourt trying to get into the paint early. Was that a big part of what you wanted to do? Yes, sir. Um, we just felt like we had a mismatch down low with me and Abdul. And um, like I said before, the, the guards did a great job of giving us the ball. So I appreciate it. You uh, were able to make an adjustment against Castleton inside. And here's a guy who's a great rim protector, had a lot of block shots today. Coach Allen talked about that adjustment. What did you do that allowed you to have more success in the second half against him? Uh, Coach Highland emphasized in this, uh, at halftime that we need a shot fake. And regardless if it's one or two, just, you know, he's a shot blocker. He's going for every every uh, shot. So we just got to make him jump and then go into his body. So that's what we try to do. Has offensive rebounding always been a big part of your game? Yes, sir. I mean, since high school, I just, just offensive rebounding, those second chance opportunities is uh, what we need to win. And, you know, Coach Highland obviously emphasizes it, especially um, when we're about to go out. So. Congratulations. I'm going to get out of the way and let these other guys talk to you for a bit, okay? Thank you. We'll start the media portion with Garrett. Garrett, go ahead. <clears throat> Uh, Tolu, in the first half especially, it looked like you guys were breaking their press a little bit. Um, what adjustments did you make from Wednesday night when Texas A&M kind of gave you a little bit of problems with the press, and how did you handle it against the Gators today? Um, when we went back to the drawing board, Coach emphasized that we need to be more aggressive in the trap, I mean in the press, so um, our guards did a great job of breaking the press and um, seeing the open guy. So. Go ahead and swing it over to Joel Coleman. Joel, go ahead. <clears throat> Hello, we've heard uh, Coach Allen mention a couple times that Kentucky game for you that you were kind of getting sped up a little bit against Kentucky. Uh, how big was that game for you in, in I guess, learning and, and improving and, and now you get performances like you got tonight? I, I guess looking back, did you learn something from Kentucky and, and you've had a couple uh, big games in a row now? Man, I learned a lot from Kentucky. Um, probably the biggest game of my life. Just um, – just realizing that I can play so much better. Coach Highland realized I can play so much better, so he's just just um, building my confidence back up and being able to play through um, ups and downs. Go ahead and swing it over to John Sokoloff. John, go ahead. Paul, uh, what have you been doing specifically <laughs> off the court? Have you like changed anything from a training aspect, workout aspect, basketball aspect to really kind of elevate your game and help you kind of get to this point? I wouldn't say I changed anything. I just feel like um, it was more of a confidence thing. And then I feel like our coaches uh, emphasized getting us the ball inside. And um, when they read, <clears throat> excuse me, double, um, it leaves openings for other players to get open. So it's just just um, being confident and uh, going back to the drawing board and working out each day to be successful. Thanks, Tony, for your time. We appreciate it. We'll have Abdul in here just in a second. Thank you. I was talking with Tolu just a moment ago about playing against a guy like Colin Castleton, who made a lot of block shots, who does a lot on the offensive end. He had three 20-point games in the SEC coming in today. You had to guard him most of the day. What's the challenge in guarding a guy like that? How'd you do it so well? Um, it's, Honestly, I think it's a team effort. You know, um, the coaches um, watched a lot of film, and so did we. Uh, so we didn't, we didn't want him to come out today and kind of try to establish himself. So um, we, we talked about it. It had to be a team effort. But, um, you know, guys like that, when they get hot, you, can't, you can only hope to contain them. But um, from the jump, we decided to be physical with him. You know, um, nothing is going to be easy. He had to earn everything, you know, he throws up there. So yeah, just play him physical and try to like cut off his um, his um, his left shoulder because he always loves to go left shoulder every time he catches in the post. So I saw you talking with the officials about wanting them to watch some things with regard to what you were doing defensively and some things that Colin might have been doing that you felt like put you at a disadvantage. And 
I don't know if you were frustrated or not, but the two dunks in the second half look like you were taking out frustration at the very least on the rim. Does it ever get old as, as a player to get those opportunities, especially when you can do it in traffic like you did on that one? No, sir, not at all. Um, it's always fun, you know, not for just myself, but for my team as well. Um, you know, you, you try you try to get your team going, you know, however you can, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure when I had the um, the dunk, uh, the putback, and also the um, the other layup where I drove down the lane and dunked it, it kind of um, it picked uh, my teammate. Kind of, you know, helped. They they enjoyed their moment and um, everybody got hyped and we picked up the intensity because um, you know sometimes we we focus on defense so much that we forget about the offensive side. But the offensive side also helps motivate you to play more defense and you know. With the group of guys we have, everybody gets excited for each other. Whenever we make a, a great play, um, that kind of hyped up everybody, you know. And the fans, the crowd also was into it, so. You guys have not lost back-to-back -back games this year with the exception of those first two down in Florida. And what does that say about these guys now that you've got your entire team together, the resiliency of the group? Um... One thing we talk about is uh, every game is a learning is a learner um, moment. You know, we learn every time, every game, every time we step on the floor, we learn from whatever the outcome is. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you want to you want to win, but during the losses, also you want to learn something from it. And you know, like the last game we played, had a bad taste in our mouth. Um, and one thing I think we have to, I'm not even think. One thing I'm pretty sure we have to do it or work on is to close our games. Um, we are a little bit shaky, you know, when it comes to closing our games. We got to do a way better job when it comes to closing our games, so. Abdul, thank you. I'm going to let everybody else talk to you for a minute. Thank okay. you. We'll start the media portion with Paul Jones, and then we'll go to Garrett. Paul, go ahead. Abdul, obviously a, a big point for the team in practice this week was the, the letdown against Texas A&M and allowing them to come back and win that game. But how much as players do y'all talk about that away from the staff? How much was that kind of a driving point this week when you guys talk? Um, we, you know, after we lost the and after the um, A and M loss, we came back to the locker room and you could just, you could just see everybody's face. Um, it was not a, it was it, it, nobody had a, a great, um, you know, everybody had a, a reaction to hey. We weren't posted. We was not supposed to lose to these guys um, because, for one, we were supposed to defend home, and we needed every win we could get at home. So we took that as a motivation, um, and then we talked as a group that, hey, we got to be able to close our games. You know, we got to be able to handle the ball. Um, you know, we can't just let other team kind of like um, decide. What, um, what we do on the floor, you know, be it on offense or defense, you know, no matter how aggressive they play, so. And uh, on that last defensive possession, not sure if you uh, saw the big angle on it, but man tries to draw a foul on that last shot and Jalen stood his ground and held his defense. Um, how big of a, uh, I guess, play is that when a guy keeps uh, his hands in the air and doesn't let him get self get drawn into a foul in that kind of situation? You know, Jalen Johnson has a has a very high IQ of for basketball. Um, I don't think a lot of people know that, but the dude can really play it, and he actually knows when what to do. Like you know, um, we you know, as an older guy, you know when to foul and when not to foul, and when to just stand up there and just defend and just contest the shot. So he did that. You know, he's. He's very aware that we was up by three point. You know, you don't want to you don't want to foul on a three point shoot on a three point shooter uh, and give him a three point shot or whatever. You know, so he just stood there. You know, defended as you know that was a great defense. Um, he defended as well as any defender could defend that, um, that possession. So, thanks, Abdul, for your time. We appreciate you, brother. Thank you.